Draftland.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zaw of the Playbook, bringing you a 2011 NFL Draft special on the outside linebacker position. We're going to go through my list, 1 through 10. Also take a look at some sleepers, as well as some small school prospects that you want to keep an eye on. So let's just jump right into my list and see who I have on my draft board, number one. Greg Jones out of Michigan State is the best linebacker prospect in this draft, a guy that is super productive, consensus All-American, two times All-American at Michigan State, very aggressive at the point of attack, uses his hands real well, a guy that can play either weak, strong, or middle, but I have him projected as a middle linebacker and should be a solid playmaker for years to come. Martez Wilson, 6'4", 250-pound middle linebacker from Illinois, a guy that put it all together this season, still has his best football ahead of him, a guy that's very aggressive, very sure tackler, and should have a lot of success in a 3-4 defense or even playing strong side in a 4-3, but should be a talented playmaker nonetheless. Nate Irvin is a guy that I really like a lot, has a lot of athleticism that he brings to the position, a guy that loves the physicality of the position of middle linebacker. He may be short, I mean, maybe small at 233 pounds, but there's no questioning his heart and his ability to live behind the line of scrimmage, a guy that always makes tackles for losses and should have the same type of reduction at the next level. Another talented Tar Heel player, defensive player for that matter, Quan Sturdivant, a guy that's 6'2", 235 pounds, played both linebacker spots, middle and outside, and should bring that same type of quickness and agility to the next level, a guy that does exceptionally well in pass coverage. You want to talk about versatility, you look at Kelvin Shepard out of LSU, a guy that is 6'2", 242 pounds, a lot of speed at the position, a ferocious hitter, a guy that was a big playmaker for the Tigers, and again, can play any linebacker spot on the field, a guy that's a tremendous talent. Now some other middle linebackers or inside linebackers you want to keep an eye on. You look at Brian Roll out of Ohio State, a guy that's 5'10", 225 pounds, has a lot of speed, 4'4", 5 at the position. A guy that's a super productive player, very aggressive tackler, and has outstanding pass coverage skills. You see right here against Navy making a game change in interception, has a lot of speed for the position. Colin McCarthy is a guy that has a lot of athleticism, very good athlete, also excels in pass coverage. Now what he can do to get better is probably be a little bit more stout at the point of attack, but there's no doubting his ability to compete at a high level. A guy that played exceptionally well for the Miami Hurricanes and should bring that same type of reduction to the next level. Mario Harvey out of Marshall, 5'11", 250 pound middle linebacker is a guy that's one of my favorite prospects. He's outstanding in run support, very, very small player, knows how to take angles properly, does well keeping trash away from his feet. He struggles in pass coverage, but that's something that can be coached up at the next level. Casey Matthews is a guy that was utilized a lot on blitzing. Uh, for the Oregon Ducks, a guy that may struggle at the next level in covering tight ends, but there's no questioning his ability to make tackles. He's a sure tackler, a guy that knows how to get to the quarterback. Look at that great athleticism right there. Should be a productive player. Mike Muhammad out of Cal is a guy that's 6'3", 240 pounds, a very tall middle linebacker, has a lot of athleticism you see right there in the passing game, and it can play in any position, whether it be a 3-4 or a 4-3. A lot of versatility with a guy like Muhammad, very, very productive player at Cal. Now a small college middle linebacker that you want to keep an eye on, I look at Tommy Becker out of Division III St. Thomas. This is a guy that's a ferocious tackler, started his career at the University of Minnesota, but transferred down the road to St. Thomas, a guy that was all over the field, does a great job of sifting through traffic, a ferocious hitter, a guy that knows and understands the game, and also is outstanding in pass coverage, should be a true sleeper in a gym for anyone looking for a linebacker prospect. Now some of the inside linebacker prospects that may end up on NFL rosters, you look at Nick Ballor out of Central Michigan, very talented, productive player for the Chippewas. For more draft prospect rankings, visit footballgameplan.com slash draft, or to see more draft prospect videos, visit youtube.com slash footballgameplan, and check out the Football Game Plan radio show Saturdays at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan, airing 11 a.m. Eastern Time.